is Amit Verma from Vaishnu Auto Lighting. In today's video, we will take you through the installation of aftermarket horns along with the Vaishnu horn wiring kit. Well, apparently, all aftermarket horns uh, draw a significant amount of amps, which the stock wiring cannot handle, and hence, there is a requirement for the horn wiring kit. And without wasting any more time, we get straight into the unboxing of the product. So once you open the box, you will find one wiring harness start for the installation along with the wiring kit. These are the dual aftermarket horns that we will be installing uh, in our car. Uh, you will see that uh, there will be two terminals provided in each one. Uh, which will make the connections possible. Uh, just to understand the harness a little bit better, let's open it up and uh, understand where, what goes where. So once you open, you'll find one relay, as well as four terminals that will be used for the dual wall. Uh, these are the couplers that go to your stock wiring, as well as a negative terminal and a positive terminal. That will be connected to the battery positive. So we'll be installing uh, the horn in, in, in this car driver, uh, whereas we'll be installing it in a bike as well. So to begin with, you will see that the horn is placed inside here and uh, it has one of the terminals coming out. So if we just remove this terminal, this coupler itself is from the stock horn and it is a single cable. So we install the dual horn. So as you can see that we have done the wiring out here. So to begin with, first we have taken the stock coupler and connected it to the red cable that were given for the stock wiring. As you can note here that the black cable has been left loose because the stock cable has only one output and that has been connected to the red cable not to the black one once you do that the other two couplers that are meant for the aftermarket horns are connected to the respective horns whereas the negative cable has been connected or grounded to a suitable place the relay has been temporarily mounted out here whereas the positive has been put into place so that you can see how it works now once all the connections are done and your horns are uh, ready for placement, you can place them down at a suitable place so that water doesn't enter the space and keep it downwards. As well as the connections, once all this is done, you can tie them up nicely and finish the complete installation. Uh, now we move over to our installation uh, on motorcycles and uh, for that you can see that the length of the wiring kit is sufficiently long and uh, rather than dismantling the whole bike and show you how it exactly works we will uh, show you the connection and what you need to do so the relay itself will go beneath the seat we have already wired our off light cable here as you can see so we won't be going into jail for that rather you can place the relay down here connect the positive of the battery right here as you saw earlier that we have two cables for the stock wiring while in our car since there was only one stock cable while in the bike itself you can see there are two cables that are coming from the stock wiring so these will be a direct replacement into those and some cases where you will find that only red cable or single socket is present from the stock wiring 
only in that case you will be connecting the earth cable to the battery negative or any negative bolts on the bike or the car where you can basically uh, get the earthing points now in cases where you will be having these double stock cables in the stock wiring as well only these two will be replaced while the earth cable will stay loose and we will not connect this anywhere otherwise if we do this the stock horn will start blowing directly without you pressing the buttons so we will be now replacing the stock cables You can see once the connections are all done properly, the positive from here gets connected to the positive. from the stock cable and the wiring kit and the negative cable from the stock cable gets connected to the negative of the wiring kit and we connect the battery positive here and we have left the earth cable loose we haven't connected this because if we connect it to the battery terminal which we will show you shortly it will become direct which we don't want so once we have started the bike and You blow the horn. You see that the horns are working just fine. Uh, now, just as an example, in this connection, if we connect the negative table as well to the earth, basically we give it to the earth. You will see how it will start blowing directly. this is something which will not going to work this is only provided where the stock cable has only one coupler coming and if there is a positive and negative coming then basically we don't require the earth cable hope it makes sense so as you can see that we have mounted the relay over here and uh, the battery positive cable has been connected to the positive of the battery while the negative cable has been connected to the battery negative and if you can see we have routed the cables from behind all the way here to where we have the horns installed inside the hood here here is horn number 1 here is horn number 2 So this is how the installation will be complete. And that was it. We hope you enjoyed the video. You can buy the wiring kit from the link given below. For any more information, you can visit our website at www.vaishnu.com.